Welcome to the latest episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be introducing our new dual graphics processor, Zotac GeForce GTX 295 with 480 stream processors. Inside the box, you'll find the Zotac GeForce GTX 295 graphics card with dual dual link DVI and HDMI video outputs, an SLI bridge connector for quad SLI, and dual PCI Express power connectors. Bundled with the card is a DVI to VGA adapter, an HDMI cable, a SPDIF audio input cable to route audio through HDMI, a dual Molex to 6-pin PCI Express power adapter, a dual 6-pin to 8-pin PCI Express power adapter, a full copy of Race Driver Grid, the game, and a full copy of 3D Mark Vantage Advanced Edition. To demonstrate the performance of the card, we'll be installing it in our high-end system featuring a Zotac N4790i Supreme motherboard, an Intel Core 2 Quad processor, 4 gigs of Patriot DDR3 memory, and a Western Digital Velociraptor hard drive. Please make sure you have an adequate power supply before installing the Zotac GeForce GTX 295 graphics card. Zotac recommends a minimum of 680 watts for single card operation and at least 1000 watts for quad SLI operation. Also, don't forget to install the 6-pin and 8-pin PCI Express power connectors or the system will not boot. What makes the Zotac GeForce GTX 295 unique is the use of dual GTX 200 graphics processors for a total of 480 stream processors, 1.7 gigs of video memory, and a, an effective 896-bit wide memory bus. To demonstrate the power of the Zotac GeForce GTX 295, we'll be using the games Crisis and Race Driver Grid. With demanding games such as Crisis, you can expect around 30 frames per second at 1080p resolutions with very high settings and 4 times anti-aliasing. With games such as Race Driver Grid, you can expect around 78 frames per second at Full HD resolutions with ultra quality and 16 times anti-aliasing. And that concludes another episode of the Zotac Video Podcast.